it was in 1976. There was a world conference of Pentecostals in Kenya. I went from Nigeria, myself, Brakumoyi, and several other people. And in those days, a, a Christian is supposed to carry a pocket Bible with him wherever he goes. And when we arrived there, there were all manners of people. So we woke up early one morning, and uh, as usual, all the people who were there were talking and chatting. And, and I wanted to do my morning devotion. I wanted to study the Word of God. So I took my pocket Bible, and I disappeared into the toilet. We were staying in a student's hostel, so there were many toilets there. I don't know for how long I was there. I didn't know there was somebody else also there with his own pocket by But finally, we flushed the toilet at the same time, came out at the same time. I looked at the fellow, he looked at me. In his hand was his pocket Bible. In my hand was my pocket Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the two of us began to laugh. That fellow was Brother Kumuyi. We went to hide so we can eat the word of God. What's your meat? Welcome to the moment of truth. You just heard the story that touches the hearts. We've been hearing it. One of the comments I want to read to you. This lady said, as gentle as they looked, they are deadly. They are monsters. They are tiger. They are wild animals. They brought Christianity to us. Where the owner of the Bible tells them to do it. They are jacked it. They keep lying for many years. Our country was okay before the all spring up from everywhere. Telling lies here and there. They exchanged Christ. They gave us the first Jesus. First Jesus. Everybody ran into it because they don't know any better. Look at the country today. What have we achieved with the gospel, with the Bible they've been reading? They said they ate the Bible. They ate the word of God. What have we achieved? They ruined everything. Don't take my word for it. So I want to put... Kenneth Okonko interview. I want to put it there. Just five, four minutes and listen to what he said. Church is a scammer. Oh. Then I will come back to read some more comments. Stay tuned. Your creative ability not to manipulate or intimidate them. That is what is lacking. And that is what we are coming in to produce. Don't think that I introduced myself or you did as uh, 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 a prophet. So I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But I'm already a teacher of the gospel. Because everybody who is a theologian is called to teach the gospel. And so are you a born again that. Christian? By the grace of God I am. That does not make me to invoke any spirit of perfection on myself. I'm a born-again Christian, and I thank God I am. If you were a I do not believe that showcasing God must be done in a formal way. You should showcase God by the way you live your life every day. Jesus Christ did not tell you that the way you will identify his followers by should be by what they say. Indeed, he said, some will call me Lord, Lord, and will even do miracles. But on the judgment day, I will say, get behind me. I don't know you. You workers of iniquity. Then when I was reading that, I was like, how then do you know? He said, by their fruits, we shall know them. Don't you think that if all these people that are parading themselves as Christians in Nigeria are truly Christians. Don't you think we will not be having the problem we're having today? What are their fruits? So I'm not carried away by the formal advertisement of anybody as a man of God or this portfolio or this. What are your fruits? Are you a man of God? I am a child of God. Not a man of God. I would not want to go by that name. 
I am Kenneth Okungu, the servant. So I would want to be a child of God. Mm. I mean, you know, Anna, you know what Jesus said? Yeah. So the kingdom of God are for the people like these children. So when people arrogate themselves all these names, I just know that they've not met Christ. I am a child of God. The gospel now, these days, for some priests, is very juicy and it looks very profitable. That is why you have so many men of God. When we were in the university, when it was the day, you didn't see most of these people there. But when you started seeing the dreadlock, style of born again, the yeah, 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 yeah. Money, 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 money. Good. Then everybody put on suit and became born again. And the devil went to the shop and bought King James Version of the Holy Bible and headed to the church. You know the style of the devil? If I cannot get them by persecution, I will get them by compromise. So you think the devil has compromised the church? One of the headquarters where the devil live very well now is in most churches. And you can quote me on that. Based on what you see? Based on what I see, based on what I know, based on the natural progression of the manipulations of the devil. Devil will start by intimidation, by punishment, by persecution, just like he started in the Bible. The devil discovered that when he started persecuting the church, they started scattering, and as they are scattering, they are carrying the gospel wherever they went to, and the gospel was growing. So he now said, no, let me use the leader of the world. And when he becomes born again, if he declares the state, a state to religion, the bishop doesn't need to fast again and cast me and bind me to get money. He said, we just give him money. So all the things that they have been praying to get, they don't pray anymore because it's given to them. But they don't know that that is what is going to compromise their faith. So these posterity preaching pastors, you are against such. You just heard it all from Kenneth Okonko. Everything I've been telling you all this why that the supporter of uh, Ken, uh, Kumuyi Adeboye will come here to threaten me. Hey, lawsuit. When everybody knows that what I'm saying is the correct thing. I've been there. I know all these men. They are liars, they are thieves, they are rogues, they are satanic agents. Satan has given them an assignment. There's no church. We are the church. What they presented you as church is a shrine, it's a business center, it's a money making machine. This is my brother from America because only us that are outside Nigeria can think rightly because we've seen differently. We know what is going on. We know what Bible expected of us. You cannot preach the Bible without obeying the owner of the Bible, the word of God, the author of the Bible, the author and finisher of our faith. No, that alone lets me know that they are not of God. You cannot be disobeying the almighty God and his only son that came here to die for us. And you disobey him. And you say you are belong to God. No, they belong to the gods of this world. And all this bride, church uh, shrine, they call church. They are not church. We are the church. But they will not tell you the truth. Let me read this comment for you. Uh, Brother Bolaji Martins, he resides in the, in the USA. She was refer is referring to the to that one that said we should go to church, we should go back to church, hey, hey you do go to school. Hey, we used to say because the teacher molested you, you will stop going to school. Rubbish and nonsense. She's a fake prophetess. She's online, dupe people. So her name is Hola BC Adamu. Damu everybody online. Put all her videos in the bin. Those are the satanic agents. The end time. Anti-preachers. Let me read what Mother Bolaji says here. 
he wrote, she's confused. Yes, in the conventional schools, you need another human being as teacher, which may even be your mom or dad at home. There are home schools here in America, but in the things of the spirits, the ultimate master teacher is the Holy Spirit. And you don't need to be in a building called RCCG, MFM, Winner Chapel, or whatever to learn from the Holy Spirit. In fact, I learned better when I quit attending all these buildings whose main aim is only money. They don't care about anybody's, anybody's soul and spiritual growth and well-being. The church is Christ in us, not us in a building. Thank you, my dear brother. Only us in America thinks like this, oh. Listen to what Kenneth is saying. He's telling you the, the gospel, what your pastor will not teach you because he's been there, he has seen it. If only you can stay at home and read your Bible. Me, I get better when I'm in a small class, like a small group, like five to six people. You will get better. You'll be soaked in the word of God and your spirit will be alive. But not in the church. Music, everything. This one looking at you. The bad, bad, uh, uh, anyhow, you wondering, what have I done to this one that's looking at me like this? You know, a lot of confusion in the church because God is not there. God is not there. Kumu ye, adebo ye. They all went to the pulpit for themselves, for fame, for money, and for their children. They all went there to lord over people. To make themselves gods over everybody. Everybody bowing down to Adeboye. Have you ever asked yourself, who is Adeboye bowing down to? Can't you think? Look at Adeboye and all his children bowing down to Adeboye. His wife, everybody bowing down to Adeboye. All the kings bowing down to Adeboye. Um, NHL and his children bowing down to Adeboye. So have you asked yourself, who is that person that Adeboye is bowing down to? Is Adeboye the head of Nigeria? There was a time. God of Adeboye everywhere. God of Adeboye everywhere. That is when they stole Nigeria and you did not know. You didn't know because you were far asleep. Everybody is awake now. Almighty God is angry at that country. That's why he washed his hands off and let anybody just do whatever they want to do. And he was, he was watching. Why Nigeria is still standing? It's because of the 1% remnant that is crying for that country. We are crying for that country every day. God have mercy. Because of us, Abraham did it. He did it for Sodom and Gomorrah. But God already told us, if he have five to ten people, he will not destroy the country. But we are more than five to ten. So that's why that country is still standing. If you think because you are going to all this shrine, you are, you are wasting your life. You are wasting your money. You are wasting your destiny. All of them are liars. Liars will not see God. How could they be so daft and be so hardened and be using the name of God to punish the people of God, the image of God? They are using the name of God to empty people's pockets, collecting people's houses, especially those uh, um, elderly, those widows. They were collecting their money, everything their husband left for them. They will collect it. One man was crying in uh, a Jaffa church. That's he, all the, the money they give to mother, everything he, uh, their dad left for the mother, he's giving it to Orisha Jaffo. And all of them are like that. MFM is doing the same thing. They are collecting houses, telling the, the, the demented their mother to send their children away. Their children are crying everywhere. That we, 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 we don't have access to our father's house. The mother has given it to MFM. This is what is going on. And you are telling me that's Christ. That won't lie to people. You have to give him money for, for you to enter into a Brahmic uh, covenant. And you think that one will see Christ? You, see, you think they will see Christ? They are collecting people's money, sending people to go and steal. Oh, yeah, Kilome, all of them, they are online now. They are online. They are making people online. And you still think you, you think you have Christ. You don't have Jesus in that country. Oh. 
You have to know that Jesus yourself because the one they presented to you is not Christ the Lord. They, they only then know where they get that one from. You cannot have Christ and be lying. Ah, lying without conscience. All of them, they make themselves rich. Stinkingly rich. Look at the country. Look at the economy. Look at the security. Everybody suffering. And they are still talking. I don't know why people have not turned on them. Oh. I do not know. Anyway, Kenneth Okonko has said it. He has said everything. And he said what he said. And he said, caught me. And that's why I've been asking you this why. Do you think we have Christ in that country? And the country will be the way it is. And the other religion will be flogging the one that claimed to be uh, on the Lord's side. It does not happen. They made their own Jesus powerless, not my Jesus. My own, they cannot be on the side of my Lord Jesus Christ. And the enemy, the other side, will be flogging them like that. It doesn't happen. No, it will never happen. And I know what I'm talking about. And that's what Kenneth Okonko is saying here. That's what he's saying here. So, if you like, you listen to what we are saying. If you like, still come here and be writing nonsense. All of you that are supporting evil. As God is flogging all your pastors now, you too, you'll be part of that flog because you are in the congregation of the ungodly. You have to know God for yourself. That is what, what I am preaching. You have to know God for yourself. Nobody will do it for you. Stop going to all these churches. God is not there. They told you they have power and they're walking around with security men. Don't you think you that does not have power, you are walking freely, but they have power. They are walking around, all of them, with their children, with security men. They say they have power. They cannot keep their homes. They are the, the wife left them. The children scatter everywhere. That one, the wife died. All sort of things happening in their family. And they say they have, they have, they, they have power. And you that, that, that you think you do not have power, you keep your home. You train your children up to university. Some of them go and borrow kids. They don't have kids. They, 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 they could not make their wife pregnant. They have to go and adopt. And they're lying to you. And you that have your kids up to university levels. You are grandchildren. You, you have grandchildren. You will still go and bow down to them. Ah, religion. Religion has happened to you. You better take your life back. They are all liars, so they have no power. I'm telling you, they have no power. They are useless as, any, as anything. If they have power, they will, they, 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 they will obey God. That God that tells us that he has given us power to make wealth, they will wait on that God to give them, to, 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 to make wealth for themselves. They will be asking for your money. It's all lies, it's all gimmick. They have nothing to offer you. You better wake up before it is late. When I saw this, I said, hey, anything I see like that, I will bring it here to educate my people. Because some of them are calling me names. What will you call Kenneth Okonko now? It's, it's the pouring knowledge into your head. Into your head. You better listen. And I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.